talk to you about why Macy's is a good company and how their values are actually influenced by their actions. So Macy's was began by Mr. Rowland in 1858, and he used the Red Star as the logo because it has meaning and significance from his sailor experience. Macy's is also known as the world's largest store, specifically a department store, um, because it has over a million square feet in their New York location. And they acquired a lot of other department stores, like the Federated Department Stores, A&S Department Stores, and Broadway Department Stores. And also, in the Christmas season of 1924, they put on a Christmas parade instead of a Thanksgiving parade for their employees to make them feel more at home and welcome in the community. So the products that Macy's offers is household items, and they have a lot of name brand and specifically Macy only name brand products. So some of those brands are the Martha Stewart Collection, International Concepts, and the Hotel Colle Collection. And then for their clothing collections, they have some Alfani and Michael Kors, and then makeup is Estee Lauder and a few others. So they also have clothing for men, women, teenagers, and toddlers. So their employee structure is, um, the organizational structure of the company is based off of the retail experience that each employee has. So it begins with a cashier or a sales team where you're working on the floor and with the customers who come in and out day to day and then you'll work your way up towards the management position. And to get to the CEO level, you have to have a lot of experience. Like um, Timothy Baxter, Baxter, the chief merchandising officer, has 33 years of experience in all different departments and areas of Macy's. So for the financial analysis part, the company is kind of going through a rough patch right now. Macy's overall stock price is down compared to what it was as of last year. Today, their share or their stock price per share was forty-one dollars and forty-seven cents, which is down one point six percent. So this may make a lot of buyers kind of scared and nervous to invest in the company, but I would still encourage it because they're still making sales and they're still a profitable, profitable business that it's worthwhile and in the long run it'll most likely be back up to where it was last year. So there are some negative aspects about Macy's. In the beginning they were a mostly male dominated, dominated company and they really didn't let their women move up in the company and so most of the women began as just cashiers or menial task kind of workers. But some research that was conducted by Lillian Gilbreth um, showed that Macy's needed more of a training structure and an incent employee incentive program to get their employees motivated and willing to work harder and better for the company. And so this made Macy's realize that they needed to change their employee um, demographics and diversify it. And so they did that. And by doing that, they made a woman, Margaret Thatcher, <laughs> um, they're an executive position and they were leading in their industry to do that. So now they have, they take their social responsibility very seriously and they donated um, a lot of proceeds. The picture here says 55 million to the Go Red for Women campaign. And they also help people in Haiti and India with their trade and um, getting them started in businesses and get them comfortable in selling. So in conclusion, I would encourage people to work for Macy's. Macy's 
spends so much time um, giving back to the community and making a difference that it's worth it. Like, I found that Macy's values are really put into their actions. So what they say in their core values on their website, like they want to be, they treat others like they want to be treated, is actually done in their business by the way that they treat the customers and treat the less fortunate people um, around the world. They help them and give back. So Macy's really does benefit the community and the people around them. So is there any questions?